What up, what up, what up? Chris here out in Cartagena, Colombia, and the topic for today's video is how to get a girl to chase you, okay? So you probably found yourself in a lot of different situations where you wanted a girl to chase you, you wanted her to be more invested into the interaction, and pretty much show her that she really wants you to be there. Um, now there's a few things that I'm gonna talk about that of uh, how this works, how to make a girl do that for you. Um, and it's probably gonna be very different than a lot of things you've been doing because what a lot of guys are doing is doing things like negs. So if you think about what a neg is, it's you pretty much insulting the girl and then therefore when you're like the one person that's insulting her, uh, you know, you're making her feel insecure and people naturally wanna be liked so now she chases after your validation. Like that's the, the thought process there more or less. Um, now that's never gonna work, uh, at least not consistently and what, not with the kind of girls that you want the kind of girls that you want are probably gonna be the more confident girls the girls who have a lot of self-respect and when you're the guy who makes them feel stupid they're not gonna want to be around you okay not it's not coming from a place like you're smarter than them so you make them feel stupid and now they're kind of in awe it's you're making her feel stupid and knocking her off her pedestal so that she could be lower on next to you which is a dumb frame it makes them you know instead of putting her on a pedestal and showing you're also on one and therefore you're the two best people out there what you're basically saying is get off your pedestal you don't belong on one and like no one wants to be told that they're not good enough, right? Um, the only people that w it would work on are insecure girls who now you probably made even more insecure and now you're like dating this girl. It's like, what the hell? It's just, there's no thought process. And if you think about it, that's very much what kids do, right? They, they act mean to each other, hide, hide their feelings, and we turn to them and we say, what the hell are you doing? And if you think about it, we're doing that as adults. It's pretty, pretty babyish, right? So let's talk about what actually does work. Um, and the, I want to begin with, if you th think about like Gary Vaynerchuk, think about Tony Robbins. These are people who have a millions or at least hundreds of thousands of people chasing their validation and when they give a compliment it means a lot, right? We're all like, really? I'm good enough? And like that's how it needs to be is almost like, like why do they have so many people uh, chasing their validation? Like think about that. If you think about it, one, it's because they're high value and two, it's because they make you feel really good about yourself. And combine the two, it's a high value person telling you you're good enough, which is really valuable to us. So let's take that formula and apply it to getting girls. The first part is you wanna make it clear that you're a high value guy. So use what I call DHV stories or DHV comments, so demonstrating higher value DHV. Um, what you wanna do is tell her about the time you went to Europe, right? And how you like quit your job to go do it and you wanted just some adventure and you did it, it was the best time of your life. Tell her cool stories. Tell her about how you quit your job and start your own company. Or how you saved your sister from, from drowning one time. Like These are things that you want to be telling her. People don't want to hear boring stories, so this is going to make a lot of sense. This is, it's going to fit in really nicely. Is Tell her cool stories about yourself. Just make sure they fit in the conversation well, right? Uh, and you could fit them in the conversation, but like the part where it gets annoying is when people you know they're talking about themselves and it has nothing to do with the conversation you're like all right dude you're just trying to show off like you know can you just be chill can you be normal but if they told you a cool story that was relevant to the conversation you would appreciate it and you know when you would also appreciate it a lot is when you tied into point number two which is um you know, you're making them feel really, really good about themselves. So you're giving them compliments, all right? This is what I call, like, the Gary Vee and um, Harvard Standard, okay? So this is pretty much like Gary Vaynerchuk is a high-value guy. You, so you already established that with point number one, made it, made it clear you're a high-value guy. And now he gives you a compliment. So the thing is, so what you're going to do is give her compliments as a high-value guy, and it's going to make her feel like, wow, this guy's on a pedestal, and he's putting me on a pedestal. That's awesome. We're both, like, not only is he better than most guys, but he's saying I'm better than most girls. That's awesome. You need to make it clear you're looking for a one-of-a-kind kind of girl okay and that ties into the Harvard part where Harvard makes it pretty clear they're handpicking people you know they accept a thousand students everyone's like wow I'm one of a kind even though they're one of a thousand okay you need to make it pretty freaking clear to the girl that you're a high value guy and you're selecting girls that you think are the best okay it really needs to come from that frame and you're gonna tell her like no I believe me like I'm, I'm the kind of guy that is not looking for any kind of girl okay I'm looking for a particular kind of girl and, and like I'm talking to you, you're very smart. I really like talking to you and I wish more girls spoke the way you did. Um, you, you have a good head on your shoulders, like I'm speaking to you, you know, and on top of that, you're well-dressed. 
I mean, that's awesome. Like, more girls need to be like that. And it, when, you, when you give a compliment like that, telling her she's one of a kind, telling her you don't want most girls, that's gonna land really, really well. And if you think, if you notice, there's also context there, which was part of per, point number one is to give context that you're a high value guy, but you could even tie it in with your compliments and say things like, look, it should be no surprise that I'm, you know, with I, the way I approach to you, you could probably tell I'm a pretty confident guy. And I, I approach a lot of girls. Like when I see a girl who's my type, I can approach them. The thing is, it's very hard for a girl to get me to stay there because most girls just don't have as much going on for them as I would like them to. You know, they're not that smart a lot of the time or they're, you know, they don't know who they are. They don't know what they represent. When I give them a compliment, they become insecure. When I give you compliments, you take them. You know, like I want a girl who could accept a compliment because I want a girl who I almost have, uh, can't hold back compliments because she's just so amazing, okay? like. That's what I like about you. So if you think about it, point one and two, what we did was establish uh, context that you're a high value guy, and two was give her a compliment, made her feel like she was on a pedestal, but standing next to you, not like you knocked her off so that she could be lower next to you, which is what negs do. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, now, the third thing is what you could do is, I don't really do these so much, but you, what you could use them is like light takeaways. Um, you know, my friend calls them like fake out makeouts, right? Where you like been making out with a girl, and at some point you go for another makeout, but this time your lips don't touch and you pull away or you while she's getting pretty into it you pull away at the last second leading her to chase you I still don't really like those unless it's in the context of being playful not showing her who wants you more just teasing her of like yeah I caught you you freaking want this it's cool I wanted to come here you know and I'll go for it again um, so it's really good to like pull away at times and tease her like she wants you more but don't do it uh, in a, a nar like an, um, in a way like she's beneath you. It's more like yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, you're amazing, you know. But uh, I know you you want me so much, blah blah. blah. I'm pretty fucking incredible. Like, what do you expect? Okay. So um, I hope that makes sense. You apply those three steps. You should be crushing it and get some really high self-esteem, confident girls on your shoulders or on your hands. I don't know. On your shoulders sounds good too, I guess. Um, if you like this, uh, make sure to check the descriptions. They'll probably be very soon. A free gift. Uh, in the description to uh, get you to the next step, okay, get you to the next level. And I'm um, excited, all, as always, like, subscribe, comment, um, and all that stuff is very helpful. So if you like this, support the channel. I appreciate that. Um, I will speak to you soon.